If you have a constant pressure system, you might be interested in adjusting the pressure setting. What you need to do is you need to unscrew the screw on the side and lift the lid off. You've got an increase and a decrease button right here to change the pressure setting. What you need to do first of all before you mess with that is you need to have some demand for the pump. So open up a faucet with a couple of gallons a minute, maybe halfway. Not a full load. You don't want so much water that you're using the full capacity of the pump. In a minute or so, you'll hear the pump kick on. You can hear a little bit of a, a sound from that. And when you know that that's up and running and the pressure has gotten up to maintain pressure, you can, you can push the either the increase or decrease button. Just hold it for about three or four seconds and then let go and see what the pressure comes out to be. Just watch the pressure gauge. If you need to change it some more, push the button again, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then just keep monitoring it. The next thing you need to double check is to make sure that your pressure tank is set correctly. You can remove the little cover right here and you can check that with the tire gauge. You want to turn the power off to the system and bleed all the water pressure out of the system and check the pressure with no water pressure in the system. And you want that pressure to be 25 psi below the set point, the, the constant pressure setting that you, you set while ago. Once you've got that set, you might have to air it up, let uh, take air out. Once you've done that, you can put the cover back on it, and you can go ahead and turn your system back on. If you go above 75 PSI, you're going to see a relief valve start to blow. Usually it's on your system. It's usually insulated. You can't see it, but they are adjustable. In another video, we'll show you how to adjust a relief valve. And that is how you adjust pressure on a constant pressure system.